Hey everybody, Cleta the Cheetah here. I'm coming to you with part two. <laughs> um, earlier today, I did a how to get your face ready for preparing your face for makeup and for glamour. So if you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch that. And that's where I did all the skincare. I put my foundation on, I did my concealer, and I did a little bit of um, a little bit of loose powder. Uh, the translucent loose powder as well. And I did, I just did my eyebrows, not on video. So today um, I want to come to you and show you how to do this kind of, this really cute look. It's called Glitter and Gold. And you can find this look under MaryKay.com. You look under Makeup Artist Look and look up Glitter and Gold. And then you can print it out and it's a step-by-step. -step. So I'm going to do my best to go step-by-step -step just like it tells me to. And we'll see how it goes today. Okay, so my first step that I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my all over um, eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use this color right here is called Blossom. Okay, so it's a very, very pale pink. It's almost like, you almost can't tell it's pink, okay? And so the instructions, I'm gonna read them and do them, you guys, are step by step. So build your glitter glaze, glittering glaze lip by first applying Mary Kay Chrome Infusing Eyeshadow and Blush to the eyelids using our all over eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna come over here, and just put that on, and I'm just gonna put it all over the whole lid. Really, when they say eyelid, they kind of just mean this part right here. However, I'm gonna put it all over because that's what I wanna do. We're gonna be mixing some colors today. Okay, that's step one, and that is the blossom. Okay, step two. It says add multi-dimension by blending dusty rose and granite into the creases using our eye crease brush. So this is the eye crease, crease brush. It looks like this right here. Okay. And let me show you the two colors. They're right beside each other. This is dusty rose and this is granite. So we're going to use those both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dusty rose first by putting some on my brush. And then I'm just going to go right up here. Let me show you a little trick. If you open your eyes and do it like this first, you can see where you need to do it. Then you can blend it down because sometimes you go like this and you do it down here and then you open your eyes and you don't see it at all, right? So that's the trick on that. So I start out with where I need to do it. See right up through there. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. So I'm keep my eyes open. This is really good for hooded eyes too. My eyes are deep set, but it's good for hooded eyes too because sometimes hooded eyes, ladies, that means you open your eyes and you don't see any of this stuff. You only see the top. So you have to kind of make yourself a crease, right? Okay, there we go. So those are step one. Step one and step two. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of the granite. I put the granite on here. It has a little bit of shimmer and I'm just gonna go right on top of what I just did on both sides. Okay. Then I'm going to do the next step says to then brighten and highlight the inner corner and the brow bones with crystalline. Okay, so I'm going to use a different brush so I don't get them mixed up. This is crystalline right here. Okay, so it's kind of white and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to do some on so the inside corners. And then right up there on the brow bone. Okay, then I'm gonna take my all my blending brush, which is my eye blending brush, and I'm just gonna take it and kind of blend that a little bit.
And this is a little different than I normally would do because I normally would do dark right through here, but I'm gonna stick to the plan. <laughs> okay, the next step is we're gonna use the Mary Kay eyeliner in black. This is the eyeliner. And it says, I add eye enhancing Mary Kay um, eyeliner in black along the lashes. I just about dropped my whole eyeshadow palette on the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna go right through here. And our eyeliner is so creamy. You do not have to press hard. It's not dry, you know, and it's pretty waterproof. Okay, and then I'm gonna do something underneath. And I'm gonna meet that right there. See all that? You can always clean that up with a Q-tip too. And my light went off. Where is my light? I knew something didn't look quite right. Let's see. I have a little light that's supposed to help me help y'all see better. It just went dark on me. And it looks like it's not coming back. Well, I'll just get a little closer. That's too bad. Cause it's even plugged in. Oh, well, I can't stop now, right? Okay, so we just connected it just like that. And then what I like to do is just take a Q-tip and then I just want to make sure that's smooth. I don't want it to be all jagged, you know? Okay, the next step is we're going to do some mascara. I'm going to use my eyelash curlers first. And I am going to look at my regular mirror for that. And just, I just put it on there and hold it for a minute. And I just found when you use an eyelash curler, it just helps me see my eyelashes better. My eyelash, can you see I don't even have any, they're blonde. So I use a little bit of this lash primer first. Just at the base, and I just brush them on the top and the bottom. And just, you're not gonna really see it until you put your mascara on, but I think it makes a difference. Do y'all open your mouth when you do your mascara? You can't help it. And we're gonna use this Lash Intensity Mascara. And the Lash Intensity has big long bristles and then really, really short bristles. So I'm gonna do the short bristles first, right under here. And what this does, it just gets some product on your lashes. It just coats them, right? Then I'm gonna turn it where the long bristles are and I'm gonna brush it up. I'll probably go ahead and add a couple of more coats to this so that you can see it. But can y'all see? I know you can see the difference in one side and the other. Of course, you can always do fake lashes. I'll come back and do another coat. I can talk while I do this, however, it's like you need to concentrate, right? So then I'm gonna do my, and I haven't put this back into the mascara bottle to get some more the two, but I will on my second coat. So I can get some on there, right? Mascara does make a big difference, you guys. And y'all know we have a bunch of different kinds. 
this is our lash intensity and it is super like you can really it's thicker if you don't like really you know i say it's the diva lashes right and it takes a minute Okay, then I'm gonna do the bottom, which having that black mascara, I mean, that black liner, it makes you look like you have a little lashes anyway down there. I don't have that many, but what I do have, I'm gonna add, I wanna put some on there. And then what I like to do is I use a little bit of this lash intensity. I mean, this uh, Fanorama, it's a little bit easier to deal with on the bottom than that big fat brush. So I usually just put a little coat of this on and I'm gonna put a little coat of this at top too. And it just kind of fans them out a little bit. Much better. Okay, there we go. And then I just like to take, um, this is just the end of the eyebrow eyeliner brush that we have in Mary Kay. And I'm just gonna take a little, just a little bit of this shadow. It's just like a dark, this color right here is a dark gray. And I'm just gonna go right underneath and blend that because I like a soft line right there instead of a hard one. And let me just go ahead and address this. Some people, they put their eyeliner up here. And I even believe the picture, the girl in the model, that's what she does. And of course, you can do that. Glad I looked in the mirror over here. I got a little smudge going on. You can do that. But for me, it makes my eyes look smaller and closes them in. So I have found when I put it, underneath my lashes um when i put it underneath my lashes instead of above it it looks a lot better on the bottom for me okay so i just cleaned it up a little bit and i know i look really dark but here let's see if this light will help there you go look at that <laughs> so now you can see it just a little bit better Okay, of course, I can't do anything and hold that up. So I'll just have to hold it up every now and then for you. I can't believe my, I can't believe my, uh, my light, which is even plugged in. I had an epic fail on it. Okay, so the next step, we have our eyes done. The next step is our contour color. And so we're going to start out with <clears throat> the latte. This is the one I use. If you're more bronze skin tone, you use that one. And so I'm going to use these shorter bristles right here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. You see where I put it on the bottom? <clears throat> and it says, put it under the cheekbones and along the jawline with the shorter bristles of the Mary Kay cheek brush. So under the cheekbone, right here, right? And then along the jawline, and it just gives you a little bit of contour. You know what happens is when you wear foundation, makes your skin all the same color, right? So without any cheeks or contour, then you have no, like, you have no definition in your face. It just looks like a paper plate, right? And so I also like to put a little bit of this. I have a receding hairline, so I just put a little bit up here too, so that that doesn't look quite as, a high forehead. My daddy gave me that for free. <laughs> Thanks, daddy, right? Okay, so we've got the contour on both sides and then underneath here with the latte. And then the cheek color is called Hint of Pink. And this is a pretty light color. It's this one right here. So I'm gonna use the top, the long bristles, and right here on the apples of my cheek, 
I'm going to just sweep up. Like this. I'm going to look over here, make sure I don't have enough. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And then it says add as much shimmer as you want with the Mary Kay uh, along the top of the cheekbones and along the nose with the Mary Kay Chroma Fusion Highlighter in glazed. And so this is the glazed right here. So, and it says, use it with the long bristles. So I'm gonna put my finger right here. It has a little indentation and I'm gonna use these long bristles and I'm gonna put it right up here on the top of my cheeks. And this look is called glitter. What is it called? It's called glitter and glow. So the idea of this look is don't be afraid to add some highlighter, right? And then I like to also put just a little bit right up here as well. And then it says you can put it along the nose. I am not going to do along the nose because <laughs> I that's I don't want to be glittered that much for me. Now, the rest of you, you go ahead and do what you want to do. <laughs> okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, let's see. Before I, it's going to do the lips. So before I do the lips, I'm going to get Mary Kay's brand new. It's our Silky Setting Powder. And I use the light beige. And so I'm gonna take the big all over powder brush and this is just gonna set, it's gonna just set my makeup. And I use the um, CC cream and the matte foundation. I mixed them when I did my makeup. And I even just put a little bit down here on my throat. But you see how it just kind of smooths everything out? And then you're like, no, I can't see because you don't have a light. Okay, let me see where's my light. See how that smooths everything out? <laughs> okay. All right, so the next thing I want to do is my lips. And we're going to use this rose lip liner. And it says, give the illusion of fuller lips with the Mary Kay by lining first. So, and I already started with some Mary Kay. Um, lip primer. Step one. And this side is lower than that side. I think it is anyway. I think that looks about even, right? Okay. And then the look, when you look it up on MaryKayInTouch.com, it says trademark pink. However, I'm going to use one of our new colors. This is called Poetic Pink. Isn't that pretty? Mm. This is our Supreme Hydrating Lipsticks, y'all. It feels like a lip balm. It feels so nice and creamy. I love it. Okay. And then it says, finish your glittering look by topping the lips with Mary Kay. Unlimited lip gloss is sheer illusion, which is this one right here. And so we're going to put some gloss on. I like to just put it on the bottom and just do my lips like that. If you ever have trouble with lipstick going into your, like the lines around your mouth, you can finish with just a little bit of the lip primer like this and just watch, just do this. And this just forms a little seal around your lips. And then you don't have to worry about it. You can gloss all day long. And, and then you need just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so I decided today to go ahead and do my hair before I um, 
before I do my things, I, I look at these videos and I'm like, do your hair, girl. Um, so anyway, that's the look. I'm going to see if I can't um, do like this so you can see. This is, okay. I should have just had a card table and done it just like this. Ever then you see this stuff on my, on my table. But anyway, there is the finished look. You definitely want to get lipstick off your teeth and you can do that by sticking your finger in your mouth and just pulling it out and that anything that's around there, it'll get it off. So tell me what you think about this look. It's called glitter, glow and glitter. Okay. And so you can see the eyes real good and all the um, colors that I'm going to use. I'll also put in the description of the YouTube. Okay. Thanks for watching today. Bye everybody.